In today's video, we're testing the new 25th Anniversary Edition versus its April release predecessor, Ghost from the Past 2. What's up guys, we're back with another new 25th Anniversary Edition opening and I figured we should test this product which just came out this week versus the set that came out at about the same time last year, a very popular set, Ghost from the Past 2. So the MSRP on Legendary Collection 25th is $32 and this is only 15. So I have two Ghost from the Past 2s to make it 30 versus 32, very, very close in terms of value. We're gonna see which can pull more. It's gonna be tough for the Ghost from the Past with these very nice promos inside the 25th Anniversary Edition. But speaking of promos, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away every single 25th Anniversary Secret, Starlight Rare, whatever you wanna call it. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know in the comments what you think of the new rarity and who will win. Ghost from the Past 2? or the 25th anniversary edition. Hey, do you like fun? Well, if I got good news for you, I'm streaming on Whatnot this Thursday, April 27th. And the last two have been an absolute blast. I've sold a lot of awesome stuff, given away over $1,000 in cards. So you might want to be there to win something cool. Whatnot is an app where you can both buy and sell cards on a live marketplace. During live streams, you can do live auctions, buy it now, and even giveaways. I've personally given out over $2,000 in giveaways in my last two streams. They also have a marketplace feature where you could post things for sale even when you're not live. If you want to find my profile, just go to my link down below and search Ruxin in the app and you'll be able to find me and bookmark my next stream. And when you click that link down below for the first time, you get $15 for free to spend on the app. You can spend that $15 on me or other streamers like Simply Unlucky and Team Samurai X1. Make sure to come see the stream on April 27th. It's going to be a lot of fun. And thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, Ghost from the Past 2, the second haunting. We're going to open one of these. Then we're going to do our 25th anniversary edition and then open our last Ghost from the Past. Maybe we'll go back and forth on that last one. Who knows? Let's open the extra uh, Ghost from the Past 2 first. See if I can pull a Blue Eyes, Dark Magician Girl. And there's a lot of really good stuff in here that I would love to pull. Ghost from the Past 2, a very beautiful packaging. I'm not going to lie. It looks really good. I do miss Ghost from the Past 2. It was a good time, but 25th Anniversary Edition has been pretty awesome so far as well. Number 38 and a Majesty Hyperion. What I like more about the 25th is there's six different packs. There's a lot of variety. What I like more about Ghost Rares is obviously Ghost Rares. I mean, the Ghost Rares. I said Ghost Rares twice, but you know what I meant. Ghost from the past two. We have Neos Kluger. Two packs to go. So far, this is only one mini box. There's five of these per display, so we've got 10 total displays. Well, not display, sorry. Uh, 10 total mini boxes to open. So, so far, we have not pulled much in in terms of value we're going to be trying to pull something crazy but ghost for the past can be hit or miss so hopefully it's a hit today just not a bad card but not a ghost rare all right next one i went ahead and put a little slice in these so i can open them a little bit easier without having to pull the knife out every time or that sounds a little weird it sounds like a little sketch going on there so yeah, okay let's just keep going all right ghost in the past will it be a ghost rare dark magician girl i mean there's what was it nine ghost rares did they ever get to 10 no, that was Starlights. Yeah, okay. We there was nine Ghost Rares, I think, out of here. It was ten Starlights and Battles Legend Crystal Revenge. So that's what it was. Because we thought it was nine of those two, and then it ended up being ten. All right, we have got the Flu Summoning Kribo. So far, haven't pulled too much out of here. We have Vision Hero and Galaxy Soldier. That's a good card. That'll put them on the board. We'll take that. A Galaxy Soldier worth at least one dollar. Gotta be. So check out that score up there. It's on the screen. You guys will see who is winning. Mathematic Edition, not a bad card. A Fossil Warrior Skull Knight, also a pretty good card. I don't know if it's actually worth money. It's probably not, but you got to be a pretty solid Ultra to have money, uh, you know, in this set because it's all Ultra Rare. So the rarity isn't helping you too much. We have the Domain, Box of Friends, and Deco Tiger Heat Soul, another good one. I don't know if that's still over a dollar, but definitely a good card. Okay, three to go. Goes from the past, second haunting, and then we get into Legendary Collection and a second box of this. So not looking too promising in terms of value so far. But there's a long way to go, guys. Let me know in the comments. How are you feeling about 25th anniversary? Have you been able to open it yourself yet? If you have, what have you pulled? And are you enjoying the videos about 25th anniversary? We are putting, I mean, we're doing a lot more than we normally do on new releases because it's such a cool set. Chaos Crafter, and it's old school. That's what we do on this channel. So kind of the ultimate new release that we could have. And I wasn't around in 2017, like when we could have gotten a lot more of these. Agent, we got the Executor, or Executor, I guess you could say. Executor, I'm getting into the Pokemon mood. Banshee, I don't know if that's a couple dollars, but that's a good card. Let's keep this Ghost from the Past going. Will we get something good? Zombie Necro. 
That's also pretty decent, but that's in a, like a starter deck, so probably not too much. Fallen Sanctuary in our last pack of this mini box. And there's five total. We've opened three after this, and we've probably pulled a couple bucks. Chimera Tech Fortress, maybe for Edison is money, not sure. Tinny, Vampire Sorcerer, Infernity Pawn, Sky Cavalry. So no Ghost Rares so far, guys, but we still have hope that we can pull one. So here we go. Two boxes to go. Will it happen now? All right, four packs, goes from the past two. You gotta believe, guys, here we go. One, two, here we go. Yang Zing, Tin Yi, Yang Zing, Dark Contract, Magical Sand, ooh, or is it Mystical Sand? It's our Mystical Sand, no magic is involved. Just two from the back, Ghost Trick Mummy, Vision Hero, Cupid Pitch, Box of Friends, Chris John, Hauka Fibrax, RIP, RIP. Yes, uh, I won't say, I mean, it was like a, not a good hit, but it is an RIP for the value. Manju, good card. Vampire, Altergeist, Chaos Graver. We are still looking for our first Ghost Rare, and it is not happening. Still searching, haven't been seen, nowhere to be found, missing in action. Where are the Ghost Rares? Vampire Grace, and an Aluber, the Jester of Despia. Hey, that was one of the best cards in here. We'll take that. Value is adding up on the Ghost in the Past 2 side. And by adding up, I mean like we're up to like five bucks. So, hey, better than zero. Last four packs of this first display. Have we made our uh, 15 MR MSRP back? I mean, this costs more than that now, but maybe we can make our 15 MSRP back at least. That'd be really cool. We have Vision Hero on Poison, Comedy, Mardell. Three packs to go. And then we really get into the serious 25th anniversary comeback. So they're going to have all those promos that'll help. We have Rare Fish, Yang Zing, Advanced Ritual Art, Reptia Egg. So far, the 2022 April release, not really holding up when you compare it to the 25th, based on what I'm expecting, at least Galaxy Soldier, that's good. Uh, I don't, I think one pack of promos is gonna outpace this one box so far, but all we need is one huge Ghost Rare, Ghost Rick Spectre, Vampire Kingdom, and a dark alligator. So that first one, that was the extra one. The next one's gonna have to be better to win. And now we have our legendary collection 25th. I'm about to pull all of these out and all of this out, and we're gonna go 1v1. All right, we've pulled out all of our stuff, so we're not gonna be opening a bunch of boxes. Here we go. We have six packs here. This is one mini box. Back here, we have the Winged Dragon of Ross. So we're gonna open this up. This is about a $15 value sealed. So we're gonna add that on. I wanted to show you guys. I mentioned this in an original video, but I never checked the back of my other videos. These are pretty scuffed up. Like you guys see the scuffing there. There's, this one's actually one of the better ones I've seen. They're scratching on the back. Almost all of them have this sort of scuffing. So it's not looking too good for the conditions of these. Maybe that will make them a little bit harder to grade, which means if they are in PSA 10, they might actually hold a little bit of value, even though they're very easy to pull. So I wanted to at least mention that before we get into, uh, you know, the actual battle here. So about add 15 bucks for that promo pack that I just opened. Gonna be pretty tough for Ghost of the Past 2 to win. They gotta pull a Ghost Rare to really have a chance, I think. We have a Getsu and a Manticore of Darkness Ultra Rare right off the bat. This display is looking pretty, pretty good. One, two, three. Here we go. We have a Sonic Bird, High Tide Geogen, which by the way, this is 32 bucks for only six packs. Psychic Kappa, Ryu Ran, Octo Burser, Commencement Dance, Spear Cretan, Flying Gamagiri number one, and a Liquid Beast. All right, so earlier in the video, I just realized how wrong I was. I said that a whole display was $15 MSRP. That's not right. That's one That's one single mini box. I always get these sets gifted. Ghost Rare, Eye of Tamias. So we have pulled a Ghost Rare, but it is the X Gamer's favorite Ghost Rare, the Eye of Tamias. This one is only like 20 bucks, so it's not a lot, but this will add to the value. That at least negates the promo pack. That's plus. So back to what I was saying, there's actually, we opened two whole displays, which means that's $150 MSRP. And if we open an entire display of Legendary Collection, that'll be 32 times five, which is like 160. So it's a little bit more, but it's about the same. So we're gonna end up opening the same amount that I thought, but then I, for some reason, dumbly was not understanding how much it was worth. So I think we'll figure it out, but now the video is gonna be a lot longer. All right, little wing guard, towing Thanksgiving. So it's gonna be a whole display of Legendary Collection, which means five mini boxes versus, there's a Kotetsu, a two display of Ghost of the Past 2. I don't know why I was so confused right there. For some reason, mini boxes and displays, I just like, I just can't keep them straight for some reason. Gamble, we have a Cyber Falcon. Kuwagata, Burning Lamb, we pulled Genzo the other day. Let's do it again. Mad Sword Beast and a Fairy Meteor Crush. Another super rare, very nice. 
for the old school reprints. All right, two packs left on this side. I don't know how I got so confused, but guess what? It doesn't matter because it's gonna work out the same way. I think the Legendary Collection does have a $10 MSRP advantage, not to mention all their promos, which are pretty crazy. We have a Skull Knight, that is a really nice card. Let's go back to Ghost in the Past 2. I don't know what sort of order I'm going in. I'm just kind of winging it based on what I'm feeling, you know, just grabbing some packs. That's just how it goes. I can't believe put a Ghost or I have to my so EX Gamer is going to love that. We have Yang Zing and uh, a uh, Ooh, Outburst Dragon Ultra Rare. All right, we have one more pack in this first mini box of Legend of Blue Eyes. Here we go. We have Spike Seedra, Fiend Reflection number two. That's a Ruxin Special, Man Eater. Witty Phantom, Two Mount Dark Ruler, Dissolve Rock, Tyone. Got another longer video for you guys. I know you guys are going to like that. Flame Swordsman, new style, super rare. Another foil for the old school. That's three in one display. Or not display, mini box. I'm going to get it right eventually. Ghost from the past two. Come on. Will we pull it? We have, okay, ultra rare. Cool, Chimera Attack. That's another good one. Cute pitch and... Borlin Dragon, that's another solid card that could be adding. Yeah, you've been seeing the screen, uh, the values, but I want to pop up again so you just so you can see. Now we're going to add a few more to the Legendary Collection. We actually have four more of these because of all the mini boxes. So each one of these is going to count as 15 bucks. So that is a solid 60 bucks added right now. So Ghost of the Past 2, you're going to need more Ghost Rares. All right, now we're going to mix these together. Obviously, we have more over here on the left. So we're going to try and catch up. And make it even catch up mustard here we go manju stumbling chaos greed boganian ojama yellow sea serpent warrior darkness chop man and rage battle locks still no and chaos number dragon i was about to say invader of darkness we've definitely pulled that pulled it twice one two three will we get a bottom dweller i'm picking random packs over here thunder dragon's good deep sea shark niwatori swamp battle guard crass clown princess azurugi and a trent the end from murkwood no not murkwood where is it where are the ends from i can never remember right next to isengard whatever that is called we have a despian tragedy ultra rare vampire duke box of friends vampire sorcerer and a crystron alka fibrax yet again DCR time. Will the Legendary Collection be able to extend their lead? Because with those promo packs, they are looking real nice. Agito for those Shizu decks. Trainer, Drag Down, Desferal Imp. Cost Down Ultra Rare. Who even remember this was a Hollow and Dark Crisis? It is a very old school card. You're just trying to tribute for less, which is hilarious. Pharaoh Servant, I mean, yeah, obviously not very good these days because who's tribute summoning? Not many people. I guess maybe Fluunderese, which if you're doing that, you have a problem. Don't do it. World Suppression. We have Nobleman. Oh, a secret rare. Imperial Order. Our first secret rare. Is the Imperial Order one of the best cards out there? And most annoying, I will say. All right, Legend of Blue Eyes. Come on. One, two, three. Will you bless us with a Blue Eyes White Dragon? So far, we haven't pulled a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes, or a Blue Eyes, or even Exodia Head out of any of these reprints. Let's see if we can do a Goblin Secret Remedy. No, just the Beevil. Another ghost from the past two. We have pulled an Eye of Tamias so far, which is pretty epic. I'm not going to lie. That is not bad. Chimera Tech, not a bad card. Tenyi. A lot of good cards in here. Just not a lot of value cards. Yeah, not that time either. Spell Ruler, I believe that you can do this. One, two, three. By the way, uh, if you're seeing this on Friday, or Thursday, I mean, I think tomorrow, Friday, we're going to be streaming opening a lot of the new Legendary Collection live. So, Vanisher sure Light, okay. Giving us luck. But we are probably going to be live tomorrow afternoon at some point, probably like 4, 4 p.m. maybe, something like that. So at least the European people can make it. There's a Hungry Bird. We're going to take that out. Snake Fang. But yeah, we're probably going to be doing that, opening more of this. UFO Turtle, Metal Fish. That is a Ruxin special. Not too crazy. Let's try Dark Crisis again. But hopefully we're going to pull some crazy stuff. And hopefully Legend of Blue Eyes will loosen up a little bit. Because so far, Legend of Blue Eyes has been rough to us. Yaki Gaia Panda, Zolga, Ray of Hope, Blindly Loyal Goblin, Death Rook, Guardian Trice, and a final attack order. Let's go to the IOC pack. I think we're getting close to evening it out now, so it's not going to be too many packs of Legendary Collection versus Ghost from the Past. Skullmark, Ladybug, Heart of the Underdog, Spatial Collapse. That is a super Ruxin special. Four cards. That's impressive. Chaos Rider, Gustav. Look, new style cards. I cannot keep them from Ruxin Specialing. I'm just saying. Ghost from the Past 2. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Will we pull it? One, two. Necro. Plunder. Glow Up Bloom. DD. And Necro World Banshee, another decent card, but not the card we're searching for. Legend of Blue Eyes, you know what we are searching for out of here? I'm sure you know, I'm not even gonna say it because I'm gonna bless it with luck by not mentioning the name. Hinotama, Enchanted, Dark World Thorns. The card we pull is the card that I am not naming. Dragon, that's the Wicked Knight, and... 
Yes, that was it. I was trying to pull the sandstone. Okay, maybe next time. Pharaoh's Servant Old School Reprints. Hopefully you guys are enjoying opening old school reprints yourself. If you guys grab some, Dokuro Yaiba. I wish you luck on your secret rare pulls. Maybe some ultra rares as well. There's some good stuff in there. We have the Shallow Grave and uh, Bubonic Vernon. Ghosts from the past, numero dos. Will it have another ghost? We've already pulled one ghost, but these have been known to have multiple ghosts per display or multiple band cards, because that's like the third one. MRD, my favorite set, here we go. Will we pull the Pequeno or the Larva, AKA the Cousin Moth? I mean, Gray Moth, Grande Moth would be great. Soggy, that's another good one. Rocco Grigrado, Launcher Spider, which... And a Harpy Lady Sisters. We will take that. Another great super. A lot of supers have been pulled so far. Ghosts from the past too. No supers have been pulled from Ghosts from the past too. Pretty weird. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. No Ghost Dress have been pulled out of here. Ghost Trick, Prime Athmech, Sinet, Boral End Dragon. Another good um, end version. Here we go. Dark Crisis. Now, can we end it with an Exodia Necros? Here we go. Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Ordeal. Sasuke. Token, Fairy of the Spring, Drag Down, Fear from the Dark, and Archfiend's Roar. Ghost 2, here we go. Will you have a second ghost, or should I say a Ghost 2? Here we go. Tinny Spirit, we have a Sky Cavalry. No, you will not this time at least. But maybe Spell Ruler can turn that around with three from the back. Sonic Bird, Gaia Power, Electric Snock, Curse of Fiend, Giant Sword of Feeds on Flames, Queen's Bird, Hamburger, Hero, and an Upstart. Goblin, not much being seen there. It's actually, I'm wondering what the score is right now. I know that Ghost of the Past 2 is not Ed because of the promos. The promos are really changing everything here. We have Retalian and a Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Nice card. That is kind of normally how it goes though. Promos can really make the difference in a product, which is why we are happy to see the tins have promos inside, which is going to be pretty amazing. Amphibious Bugroth. Thing in the Creator, Recycling, Soul Absorption, Gigantis, Thunder Crash, Spirit of the Pot of Greed, Lekonga, and a Yellow Luster Shield. Ghost from the Past Dose. So far, an Eye of Tamias has been the only thing you've given us, which is a little bit of a taunt, I would say. Uh, Chorus, Great Mammoth is not really helping us out too much. We have a another Ultra Rare that is not that good. But don't worry, guys, this is not the end. One, two, three. Can we potentially pull what we're looking for? Major Riot, Flying Kamikiri number two, Gamble, Gruji Gugata, Shadow Vice, Reign of Mercy, Science Soldier, Shift, and Genzo. Yes! Yes! I didn't even see the stats! I just said Genzo! No way! Oh, it's another Genzo! Legendary Collection extends their lead yet again. All right, Ghost from the Past 2. You're going to need something big. You know what that reminds me? That reminds me that Genzo needs a ghost trick. That's all I'm remembering. And guess what? We have, there's no sign of ghosts in the past three coming up. So is that ever going to happen? I don't know. Metal Raiders. Genzo has been pulled again. Wow. What a pull. Looking good. One, two, three. Genzo. Pretty amazing. Ancient Brain. Feel the pain. Gazelle. Immortal. Yadu. Punished Eagle. Empress Judge. Big Eye. Shadow Ghoul. And a Battle Steer. All right, Ghost from the Past 2. We're coming down to the last couple mini boxes of Ghost from the Past 2 in terms of number of packs. I think there's four per mini, so. Ghost Trick, we have Chimeratic Rampage. You need something big here. That's not it. That's not big enough. We have a Legend of Blue Eyes pack. So it looks like we're down to the last one after this in terms of packs because wow that pack will not stay over there it said i want to be on the screen skull bird basic insect not as good as the pequeño yami fire yaru masaki dark fire dragon and a mammoth graveyard still nothing in lob we did pull the flame swordsman but i mean like big big stuff like we're talking about you know the insane stuff we have a flute of summoning karibo we have Vampire Grace. Ah, come on, pull it. We have a Ghost Rare. Nothing. No Ghost Rare. Okay. Vision of Chaos. On to the last six here. So we're about even in terms of packs. It's it's not that close at the moment, but it could become close. Just depending on what happens. Boganian, Molten Zombie, Inferno, Destruction Ring, and a Ojama Delta. Hurry. Ghost, I am not giving up on you yet because Dark Magician Girl, I think, would win this. Blue Eyes would probably also do the same thing. Vampire Domination, Altergeist, and that's, it's only one pack. That's all it takes. That's not the one pack we're looking for. Spell Ruler, your time to shine is now. Will it be a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon or a Relinquish? We haven't pulled a Relinquish yet out of these. Rear Ran, we have Umiruka, Snake Fang, Taylor the Fickle, Karate Man, and a Malevolent. Nuzla, she do be nuzzling. Okay, will we get something else? Contract, 
Plunder. Box. We have a Vampire and a Visionero Ferris. Actually, a Money Cards. We will add that to our total. They haven't scored in a long time. We're going to need some more baskets from you guys, uh, Ghost in the Past, too, or else this is going to be a complete blowout. Looking like the Atlanta Hawks out here. Here we go. Ojama Green. Frozen Soul, Staunch Defender, Ray of Hope, DD Trainer, Desrook, Skill Drain, that's a good card. And a Precious Guards of Beyond, so Skill Drain will be added as well. Four packs of Ghosts from the past two, three packs of the rest. We have Contract, DD Lamia, Advanced Ritual Art, Ghost Show Cute Boss, and another Protector. Not too good there, but don't worry. A few packs left to be pulled insect barrier wing weaver we got sky scout will we get in a second genzo could be pretty crazy thousand eyes idol magic drain and a limited removal hey super rare we'll take it two packs of legendary collection and three packs of ghosts from the past two here we go one two can we get a ghost rare it's gonna be necessary to come back we have vampire kingdom and it's gonna save it for the end gonna try to get the epic comeback metal raiders whoa no throwing the legend of blue eyes back will we pull a big time card one two three Come on, Metal Raiders. You know what we need. We have not seen it. This video, Protector of the Throne, Musician King. Come on. Oh, asking you shall receive. Petite Moth has been pulled. And that's all you need out of that pack. You don't need anything else. Two packs of Ghosts in the Past 2. Can they possibly match the might of the Pequeno Moth? <sighs> Double hand. Vampire Sucker. Vision Hero. Ghost Trick. And... Sky Cavalry, it's really all coming down to the last two packs. Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon. One, two, three. The Moth has given them a massive lead, but will this pack extend it? Machine Conversion Factor, will we pull an actual good card out of LOB? Here we go. Spike Cedra. No, we won't. Ghost from the past two, your final chance, the final pack. A Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl or blue eyes could win this if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this here we go insector hornet come on dramaturge salaman great and an aluver an actually good pull but not enough to win it shout out to tone Fo show daxter jt cho puffins of doom ernesto deanda dizzy hoppus choice 333 mycycle james jance tcg trusted cards america deutzer supreme sage 21 and then the show ian musa junior Barty, mimic gecko and thomas mcclain thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace